Okay guys, so we're pretty much done with our content management system, but we have the most important part coming up, how to log in and log out of our CMS as well as create new administrators or delete administrators. So we need to create functions to see if the user is logged in or not. And if they are not, then we need to redirect them to a page that's, that's uh, lets them know that they have the wrong username and password, lets them know that it's incorrect. So this is an excellent part of our CMS to learn about such because we're going to learn about cookies and sessions. And if you have no idea what these are, don't worry because I'll explain them in full detail and why they are pretty much on 99% of every website on the internet. So first things first, we need to go ahead and create a new web page that allows users to log in. And in the beginning of the tutorial, we created new underscore fact dot php and this is for new users or new faculty members so let's pull this up and I think instantly I'm just gonna go ahead and delete all this stuff and let's pull in our pretty much the same stuff we've had on every web page so I'm gonna go to now I'll just hard code it so we'll just do php require once includes connection connect.php let's close this bad boy out and below that we have been pulling in our functions and feel free to just copy and paste any other one of your web pages and pull all this stuff in I'm just gonna go ahead and hard code it nope not even close nope 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 there it is. And we'll include our, we'll include once our, whoa, what am I doing up here? Okay, it's almost midnight. Please bear with me. Includes, what was it, form underscore func functions.php let me pause this let me first let me close this all out okay let me look at this it's good so far so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and actually we're gonna drop this down because we are gonna create form or uh, functions that we have not created yet but I'm just setting it up so it's kind of loose leaf and in here I'm gonna go ahead and create a very or a comments Sorry, I'm all over the map right now. Ooh. Start form processing. And what I want to do now is I want to run an if else statement uh, in regards to our username and our password. So I'm going to create an if statement that says if post is set, and remember post is when we're dealing with our tags that go through the URL so it's gonna show up as opposed to get where it's wait 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 I always get these so post goes through the query it's gonna run a string through here get does not so we are using the correct variable and what is it that we're looking for what have we been using I believe it is the index of submits and I'm always never sure about my closing parentheses. And we'll just create a uh, comment here for the time being. Form has been submitted. Okay, and else, our form has not been submitted. Form has not been submitted. And right now I'm just going to have loose variable strings. And again, we don't have our functions yet. I'm just setting up this page. Password. Oh, man. Okay. Let me look at this. Well, we're closing parentheses. All right, so looking good so far. So next thing I'm going to do is I want to go ahead and pull in our header. Include, not include once, not require once. We're pulling this in for every single time. Includes 
header dot php page and then for this form I am gonna go steal some some code from our old template I'm gonna go and save this right here and I'll open up I don't know we'll say uh, content or index dot php and let's grab all this stuff from here on out grab that and close this now and I'll paste this in and this video has gone on kind of long. We're going to create a whole different form in the next video. So just make sure this isn't the correct stuff that we're going to use. We're going to totally edit this and proofread it and uh, create like a total bulletproof form to log in. So just make sure you have this correct information right here for the time, video, for the time being. And uh, I'll enjoy seeing you guys in the next video.